Microchips, tiny but mighty, are the building blocks of our digital world. From smartphones to electric vehicles, they power nearly every aspect of modern life. But as global demand surges, the spotlight falls on Asia's chip titans, who are outpacing the Western production. The big question, do US sanctions on Asian tech giants actually work? Asia dominates the global semiconductor industry. Taiwan and South Korea produce more than 70% of the world's most advanced chips, with companies like TSMC and Samsung leading the charge. Meanwhile, China has been making strides, investing billions to become self-reliant in chip production. The United States, concerned about technology transfer and national security, has imposed strict sanctions on Chinese tech firms like Huawei and SMIC. The goal? To slow down China's chip ambitions and maintain the West's technological edge. But the reality paints a different picture. Despite sanctions, Asia's chip manufacturers are thriving. TSMC and Samsung are expanding their global footprint, building new fabs in the US and Europe while continuing to dominate cutting-edge production in Asia. Even China is finding ways to adapt, leveraging older technology and focusing on domestic demand. China's strategy is clear. Innovate locally and reduce reliance on Western technology. In 2023 alone, China's semiconductor sector grew by nearly 20%, fueled by heavy government investment and rising demand for electric vehicles and AI technologies. Meanwhile, US sanctions have had mixed results. They've slowed China's access to advanced chip-making equipment, but they've also created global supply chain disruptions. Some argue that these sanctions might hurt Western companies more, as they lose access to a massive Chinese market. Sanctions are a double-edged sword. While they aim to curb China's progress, they also push Chinese companies to innovate faster and develop alternatives. In the long run, this could backfire on Western dominance. Asia's chip titans are not just surviving, they're thriving. With unmatched efficiency, government support, and a relentless drive for innovation, they continue to outperform the West. The semiconductor race is far from over, and Asia's lead is only growing. So, do US sanctions work? The answer is complicated. They may slow down progress in the short term, but in the long term, they could accelerate Asia's rise in the semiconductor world. The race for global tech supremacy is heating up, and only time will tell who comes out on top. Stay tuned for more updates on the global tech race. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.